warm welcome to PILF 2023. Technically, it's called presidential address. Personally, it is a peer interaction forum. I'm very happy that I got this rare opportunity of meeting some of the finest authors whom I admire for their super literary skills, craft, and vision. A pleasure to be here today, sharing an inspiring platform with these gifted delegates, my close literary friends and collaborators as well. And of course, you, the valued viewers joining us from various parts of the world, fellow writers and readers seeking serious writings from a warm and welcoming venue that delivers the very best. Virtual is real. Various time zones and nations converge right now via this mega event for a critical conversation. Namaste and a warm welcome again to the iconic PILF 2023, that is Panorama International Literature Festival, season four, hosted by Writers Capital International Foundation, WCIF. At the outset, my deep gratitude to friend and brother, Preet Nambiar, Chairman and CEO, Irene Dura Kavadia, Secretary General, Chief Coordinator, Chaitali Sen Gupta, Curator and Moderator, the entire operational team of the twin organizations for this sing singular honor to a humble writer like me. Thank you very much. Friends, PILF is big. A shining example of the power of seminal ideas germinating, finding appropriate shapes, and then expanding into a powerful force. A global movement towards positivity and dispersal of humane and aesthetic values in a brief span of time. Remarkable. Four years, already PILF has become an award-winning, largest celebration of words, voices, languages and cultures, startling imagery and syntax. A month-long festival, this time conducted from Spain on a very relevant topic. As mentioned earlier, with 76 nations participating, 120 speakers, 112 books, and 84 sessions. A great gathering, great utsav as you call it in Sanskrit. It is huge and impressive. This large scale participation, multilingual, multilocational makes PILF as the lengthiest program that it's very important this point here at this juncture that reinscribes green commitment, humanism, activism, and pluralism into the artistic space. Very, very important contribution of this organization, this festival. And these are the defining frameworks. I congratulate the organizers, the hosts for that, for that value addition. The focus of this year's edition is on a vital dimension of existence, 
लिविंग ब्रीदिंग प्राण प्राण और ब्रेथ पार्ट ऑफ द एलिमेंट कॉल्ड एयर प्योर द एयर बेटर द ब्रेथ एंड लाइफ एवरीवेयर prana is the natural air around us these are some of the genuine concerns about a free gift raised by the iconic panorama festival for us for others for world leaders as well air must not be polluted in the name of progress air it's a crucial part of nature nature has to be protected and preserved at any cost against constant threats so that mother earth survives and gets healed for future generations this calls for important initiatives for conservation green community ecological balance through writing poetry as a medium of change and social transformation literary and poetic interventions in social life writers as activists writing for a cause in collaboration with the central university of kerala this theme gets explored by the participating authors poets from different countries we feel privileged to be part of this timely project personally it's a great honor as a delegate for me to be here on this exciting stage world stage now the most crucial part according to me it is a place where writers are treated as the chief capital of society and arts become non refied agencies of upliftment and change for a better tomorrow a refreshing departure and the approach from mass markets coming to the present live session i would say that the books are the main stars today books that open up new vistas of lived experiences new doors of perception for us as readers books that function as the textual and formal windows on the soul of a given culture and civilization at a given point of time the books that are timeless conversations about finding beauty and meaning and hope in most trying circumstances and raising consciousness for the recipients in the entire process books that teach us to be happy and human humane and full of empathy and sympathy whatever be the circumstance or condition or situation like the great seers and teachers but in a different form some fine writers today are going to talk of their beautiful creations before a beautiful audience over there of the journey sublime in words images idioms in exhilarating sets of factors and combinations ladies and gentlemen welcome to the current session of eilf proof and wcif thanks again to the lovely hosts moderator curator and all of you for being there very best wishes happy new year thanks Thanks again.